Thank you all for joining us today. Um, of course, you know, we want to welcome you to the Studio Bones 25th panel featuring the world premiere of Metallic Rouge. So my name is Kyle Cardine, and I am the editor-in-chief of Crunchyroll News. But more importantly than that, I am a big, big fan of Studio Bones. Um, who here went to the Anime Expo Studio Bones panel? Raise your hands or get loud. All right, great. If you were there, you also saw me cry on stage talking about Full Metal Alchemist and also the Deku versus, um, oh God, I'm forgetting his name right now, but it's a very great episode of My Hero Academia. So I have a very personal connection to Studio Bones and they have done a lot for me as an anime fan. I also want to say that we are uh, having this panel in coordination with Plus Ultra. Um, for those who may not know, Plus Ultra is an animation brand launched in October 2018 by Fuji Television. This brand has produced such works as Carol and Tuesday, B Stars, all right, Brand New Animal, BNA, The Hey K Story, yeah! I love The Hey K Story, and Kinda of the Great Snow Sea. All right. Well, you know, of course, from that, uh, we're going to talk about their next Plus Ultra upcoming series, Metallic Rouge, later in this panel. Please, please give a big round of applause for our first guest, uh, Studio Bones president and executive producer, Masahiko Minami. Next up, please welcome to the stage Metallic Rouge conceptual author and series composition, Yutaka Izubuchi. Oh. <laughs> and last and certainly not least, Metallic Rouge music composer, Taisei Iwasaki. And let's also please give a big round of applause to our interpreter, Alice, who's been doing such a great job after all these panels. Hi, everyone. I'm Minami from Bones. Uh, it's really a pleasure to see so many people here. Thank you so much for being with us today. I hope you enjoy the show. えっと、イズブチです。えっと、普段はメカニカルなデザインをやってるんですけど、最近はですね、監督業をやってて、今回は原作という形とシリーズ構成という形で関わっています。え、ニューヨークは30年ぶりにぐらいなんですけど、変わ
行ってあの作った企画ですのでこの25周年という、まあ、節目の時にまた一緒に仕事ができたっていうのはなんかなんかあるのかなと思いながらあの実はもう何年6年7年前からこの企画は作ってました。So we first worked together Essentially, when Bones was founded,、um, it was one of the very first projects that we worked as a studio, and that was in collaboration with Izabuchi san. So it's really、um, quite a special treat for us to be able to do、uh, another collaboration together and work together at this、uh, critical 25 year anniversary. Um, we've been talking about this content for about six to seven years now, so it's been a long time in the making, and we're so happy to be here with it. My、uh, next question is again for Minami san. Could you explain a little bit about how Metallic Rouge was chosen as Bones' 25th anniversary project? I know, 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 I k えー、イズブシさんと一本ラーゼホンという作品をやったので、今回また25周年という節目でイズブシさんとこういう作品に携わるっていうのをやっぱりやってみたかったなというのはあります。Because our founding story was also of original content, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with our work, but、uh, it's really something that we treasure being able to produce the entire series,、um, not just rely on adaptations, but also Um, really, have original content that we own the entire storyline. And、um, this 25th year anniversary was a perfect time to re partner with Izubuchi san. Bonds' Fushime Fushime, 25 years, 5 years, Bonds to Shigoto, Izubuchi. Every five years, I'm able to work with Bonds again, and that's really <laughs> been a rhythm in my life. オリンピックの期間はちょっと長いですけど。It's a little bit longer than the Olympics, but、uh, it's a system we've got going. Is there anything that you would like to let the audience know about the series before we start? Starting with Minami san. えっと、そうですね。まあ、一番見てもらいたいのは、えー、実はあの、主人公が二人います。女性です。えー、ルジュという。えー、主人公とパートナーのナオミというこの2人の掛け合いみたいなあのすごく2人ともキュートで可愛らしいんだけれどあの実は2人ともエージェントですごく目的を持ったシビアなところもあるんでそこのところも、えー、そこのところを楽しんでもらえればと思います。So, the two main characters that you'll be introduced to, Rouge and Naomi, they're two girls with a mission. They are very determined while also being tremendously adorable and cute. And so, we hope that you start to get introduced to our main characters and start your journey with them. So, there's a lot、uh, going on, absolutely. The first point is just what Minami san said. The second point to pay attention to is the rest of the show. <laughs> the entire show is something I really want you to pay attention to and focus on. So, this is the first point. I think I'm going to talk about the first point. I think I'm going to talk about the first point. I think I'm going to talk about the first point. I think I'm going to talk about the first point. えー、と本当にそのボンズと、まあ、イズベさんももちろん僕,はあの僕からするとレジェンドのレジェンダリーな2人なんですけどお二人が作っているその世界観、まあ、さっきもおっしゃってましたけどその一つ世界を作るっていうのはすごく難しいことだと思うんですねあらゆるものを設定しなければいけないのでもちろんメタリック・ルージュのお話は面白いんですけどそもそもそのこういう大きな世界の箱を作っているっていうそのオリジナルシリーズならではの。あの一番面白いところをお二人が作っているとっていうところが一番魅力なんじゃないかなと思います。So as、uh, just like many of you in the audience, when Bones was founded, I was still a teenager, and so I'm really sharing a sofa with legends for me,、um, absolute just heroes. 
in the, the field. Um, and they have really spent a tremendous amount of time creating a world, a complete new system. And so for me to participate in that system and contribute to everything that it has to be in order to exist in its independence has been a true treasure and something that I hope uh, I am able to contribute to the series. You know, there were the gladiators that were featured within the series. Um, they were very intricate and reminded me of tokusatsu, actually. Who's a fan of tokusatsu out there? Oh! oh. Very nice. <laughs> so, was it purposeful to make the suits look like something from the tokusatsu genre? And what do you think is appealing about those designs? え、so uh, I've been in, involved with the tokusatsu live action field for about 30 plus years now, uh, particularly around designing villains, creatures, monsters, the enemy side of tokusatsu series. Um, and in the planning stage, what came clear was um, this is going to be a story of um, Rouge killing her own kind, fighting within her own kind, which was a central theme for a, a live action tokusatsu series called Kikaider. And so there's definitely some um, elements of that, uh, which is one of my favorite series. ライダーのデザインに何度何本か there's two uh, designers in particular that I feel like I've summoned the greats into this series. Um, one from the Kamen Rider series and another from the Ranger series. And they have both um, been legendary in their own work and um, we've really been able to bring that talent and that skill set to enrich our series here with our animation design. Thank you. Was there a partic or particular genre of music you were focusing on when making the soundtrack of Metallic Rouge? Now,二人の話を聞いて、やっぱり変なお二人だと思うんですね。あの、すごくこうディテールをとてつもないところまで突き詰める方々なので、僕はその世界、その世界観をどう音楽でこうサポートするかなっていう考えたときに。この世界にはすでに音楽が存在していたんじゃないかなと思ったんですね。で、それはサウンドトラックとして作るっていうよりも中にはもうそういうもちろんあの、さっき皆さんが見ていただいたそのサラフィッツジェラルドってものね、その
these leaders that are just amazingly detail-oriented, I started by saying, well, music must have existed already in this world. Um, as you saw, Sarah Fitzgerald, she's a singer, and so how do I bring music that already exists in this world um, through composition to life? And so um, in thinking about that, I decided this is really a team project and it's best to bring lots of different talent for uh, the music team as well. And so not only are we trying to recreate and re-envision the music that might have existed, that must have existed in this world, we're also creating battle music as the music you heard. And so it's really a process of um, bringing to life in its entirety a new world that is also uh, within the world and outside of the world. So my uh, next question then was, I was very impressed with the theme that played during the fight scene in the episode. Can you talk a little bit about how you made that track? うーん、そうですね。あれはえっと監督 その池池の頃だった時の彼の初期の作品みたいなものをあのリファレンスとして最初のあのえっとバトルシーンとかああいうところの曲は割とそういうものが下敷きになってます。so one of the, the process in designing music is absolutely critical is conversation with the director. And so one of the key words that came up in that conversation with the director in composing this music was um, what we call macaroni western, more commonly here used as a spaghetti western. And there's a, a number of influential pieces within the spaghetti western genre um, that really we were uh, exposed to early and wanted to respect, show respect for that through the composition and the score. Minasan,結構見てると思うんですよ,実は。うん、あの、文豪ストレドックスのオープニングとかもそうだし。I bet you guys have actually seen quite a bit of Tengage work. Bungo Slay Dogs, that's another one that uh, they do quite a bit of work for. あと they also did the teaser promotional for My Hero Academia movie. Yeah. And they also did the promotional videos for Mob Psycho. So they've done a whole lot of work for us. They've also done quite a bit of content outside of collaboration with us, so it might be really fun for you to just do a quick search for 10 Gage. Is there anything that you would like to let the audience know today about Metallic Rouge as it premieres next year? Metallic Rouge is a これがあのメタリクルージがやっぱり面白くてみんなの応援があればそのワールドをもっと違うワールドをですねあの違うというかメタリクルージの続きかもしれないそこから発生したものかもしれないけどそれを皆さんにまた届けることができるのでぜひそ
必死に作ってますんで、えー、1月から1月,です、ね、1月から始まりますので、えー、一緒に新しい作品を楽しんでもらえればと思いますよろしくお願いします。Back in Japan, the staff is working super hard, diligently, making sure that every detail is beautifully correct, just the right way. And、uh, in、uh, January, we will be ready to release the content in its best form. And so we really hope that you'll、uh, tune in and enjoy the world that we have created. Thank you all very, very much today. Let's give a big round of applause for our guests again one more time. Thank you, thank you. I want to thank you all very, very much for coming to the Studio Bones 25th anniversary panel today featuring the Metallic Rouge world premiere.、Um, don't forget that Metallic Rouge premieres on Crunchyroll this upcoming January.